So we got all three disciplines pretty much up here. All three uh, course you'll be seen later on um, with uh, Sam, Cody, and Aaron. Guys, welcome, first of all. So I'm going to start with you. And I even prepared some questions for you. The question is just away. First of all, welcome back to Munich, dude. It's been, uh, it's not the first time. Is it nice to be back? Does it feel almost like home? Um, yeah, I think I've been coming here for like eight years now or something, because, yeah, getting old now. But yeah, I love it here, it's really cool. The crowd's awesome, uh, the course is always really good, and yeah, I like it here, for sure. Do, do you get confused, like, you're so used to it, you show up here and you look for your parkour and then it's moved again somewhere else? Um, yeah. It's actually been, like, the it's first time I came, it was here, and yeah. then, like, obviously the next games, they moved it, but, yeah, it's been here quite a lot of the time. You had a pretty good run last year, or a couple of runs last year, uh, fifth overall. Um, what's the expectation for this year? Well, um, it would be nice to do better than fifth, uh, but <laughs> as long as I'm having fun, I guess that's the uh, ultimate goal, but, I mean, First place would be really nice, but we'll uh, have to see what happens. This is uh, the or one of the four diamond events in the MB Tour or World Tour. Um, so is this going to be sort of the toughest competition you're facing this year so far, or some of the toughest? Um, yeah, this is going to be yeah for sure one of the toughest contests. Like because the course is uh, really favourable to all the riders because it's a good fun one and. Um, yeah, that obviously means that the trick level is going to be higher because everyone's having a good time. So, I mean, for the crowd, it's going to be the best. For me, it's going to be maybe not the best because it's going to be stressful. But, um, yeah, hopefully a fun time. You're talking about the tricks, and I really don't want to call you old or anything, but um, with all the young kids push pushing into you to the sport, um, are you expecting any crazy new stuff for the weekend? Um, yeah, I mean... <laughs> Yeah, I'm kind of old, and there's definitely younger guys out there now, and they are doing really insane tricks. Um, yeah, you're going to see some impressive uh, maneuvers, that's for sure. You hold them back a little bit, like you got something new to show us. Um, no, maybe no. No, maybe, no, maybe I don't maybe, know. Maybe a new way of crashing. Right. Turn, turn the phones and cameras off. <laughs> it's just amongst friends now. All right. All right, we'll see, we'll see. Um, good luck. Did you get to take a look at that so far? Yeah, uh, I came yesterday actually already and walked around it. Uh, looks, yeah, really awesome. Looking forward to it. Yeah, good, perfect. Uh, so are we to see you out there. I hope you're having a good time. Um, Cody, you got a microphone, that's pretty good. Welcome back to Europe for you as well. Um, when did you get to Munich? Uh, I got here yesterday morning this evening. So I heard like, yeah, the morning, so. So you had one night here already. That's right. Where'd you come from now? Uh, I was coming from Texas. Okay. How's the hangover? The hangover? Yeah. Uh, I know the hangover. The hangover. Anything, but the jet, the jet lag. Yeah, no, it's, it's not same, so bad. Same, same. Come on. It goes hand in hand. Yeah, no, I'm feeling all right. All right. Perfect. Hey, how's it that be, uh, being back in Europe? Um, I think you got pretty good experiences here in Europe, getting your um, qualification in Barcelona. Yeah. And, uh, actually, coming back to Barcelona and ranking really well there. How does it feel coming back to Europe? Is it good, good grounds for you? Yeah, I mean, it's cool. Um, I've done a few tours out here before. Uh, I was up in, like, I think it's called Cologne, a little bit uh, around here in Germany. But I've never been to Munich, so this is my first time here. Um, pretty stoked to check it out and just see what it has to offer. Nice. Um, you haven't been a, an SIS pro for that long. What has changed since becoming an um, SIS pro? I guess I'm just a lot busier now. I have to be a little bit more professional and do stuff like this. and. Um, just kind of prioritize really what I'm going to do day to day versus just going and leisurely skateboarding and stuff. So um, it's really cool. It's giving me a sense of like, not even inside of skateboarding, but outside of it, just having to like kind of grow up and actually be like a, a grown up individual and have like time schedules and things that I need to do. So it's cool. How does it work for you guys? Like this is the first event uh, when you got the full SLS roster at the start line. Um, is it? Does it feel special? Is there like some special preparation going in there? Is there a game plan for the day? How do you prepare for a weekend like that? Um, I mean, it doesn't really. I mean, it doesn't really feel too special. I mean, it's just it's a contest, just kind of like any other one. But um, it's cool. I mean, you just. I kind of look at like the skate park and trying to figure out a run, and then uh, obviously my five tricks that I get to do and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, it's 
you're not really competing against everybody else, it's just you're competing against yourself is like the main thing. So uh, I don't know how I'm stoked to take a look at the course and see how it fares and see what I can do on it. So. Um, during the weekend, is there anything else? Like, do you have the time to look at the other guys compete? Is there anything you're looking forward to in particular? Um, I mean, I just like watching them skate. I try not to really watch the other dudes too much, because then I'll like kind of like start messing with my own head, like comparing myself to them. So I just kind of stay in my own world to where I don't deal with it. I mean, it's cool getting to see those dudes skate. Don't get me wrong; like, it's awesome. But I just kind of keep it myself and stay stay in my own little world. Do you try to take the time to see the other guys, like the other sports? See Aaron out there on the water or something? Or is there no time for stuff like that? Um, I would like to check out the, the BMX stuff. That would be really sick, actually. Or like the, the mountain bike. That'd be sick to watch these dudes jump off that stuff. I have no clue how they do it, so that'd be really neat. Hopefully, hopefully I'll have a little bit of time to check it out, that's for sure. I, hope, I, I think you feel the same, guys, right? Wherever you got the time is always fun. Is it, does it like, is it like a big family or how does this work? Do you guys actually get to hang at the events from time to time or does everybody just do their own thing? I mean, well, as far as these guys go, this is the first time. Normally it's street league, it's just skateboarding. And I mean, obviously we hang out with those dudes, like me and all the other competitors or whatever. We're, we're all really good friends and stuff. But um, I mean, I've never met any of these guys before, but I mean, after the contest, maybe we can go grab a beer and just kind of hang out. Maybe we'll get that hangover you're talking about, so. You definitely should. It's very easy. We got good beer here and everything, so getting the hangover is quite easy here. Uh, and you make no doubt about it. Um, let's talk about the competition just a little bit. Any predictions from your side? Um, I don't know, man. I think Chris Jocelyn's going to do really well. That kid's just super hungry, and he's a great skateboarder, and he's a good dude. So hopefully Chris does really well. Him and Ryan Desenzo. Desenzo just won X Games in Austin, so he's coming off of that high. So hopefully, hopefully he'll do pretty well. So. Nice. Looking forward to seeing that as well. Thanks, man. No worries. Um, Aaron, welcome. How's welcome. it going? Welcome to Munich. I'm, I'm good. How are you? I'm pretty tired. You are pretty tired. How was your trip to Europe? Uh, yeah, it was good. I just got in like an hour ago, so I'm still running on that jet lag a little. Not a hangover. No, not, not a hangover, hangover yet. <laughs> just making sure. All right. Coming in from Australia, so when did, when did you actually uh, leave, leave home? Uh, I left home 30 hours ago. All right. Well, welcome then. Let, let's get you out of here and into the hotel or something. Though the best thing is probably not to sleep until tonight. Um, okay, let's talk a little bit about your, your career. Um, it's pretty damn successful at a young age already. Probably more successful than a lot of professional athletes have in an uh, entire career. How do you stay grounded? I mean, there's, there's so many good athletes in the wakeboard stage. Like. You can't really consider yourself better than anyone else because everyone's just crushing it all the time. So I guess, yeah, everyone else is crushing it. So I just try and stay level with everyone else. Does like family and friends and support system help with that? Yeah, definitely having a good like support system is always good to keep yourself grounded. What what is it that really excites you about wakeboarding? Like, what what does it make a dream come true for you? I mean, I just love being in the water. That's why I started wakeboarding and. I don't know, I guess I just love the feel. I can't really explain it. It's just something that I really like to do. Um, pretty cool. We got uh, Big Air back. Um, are, are you stoked to uh, have that back? Yeah, definitely. That, uh, that shut down a couple of years ago due to someone injuring himself pretty bad, but it's pretty cool to have it back and hopefully it'll push wakeboarding in a new direction that hasn't gone before. Yeah, you mentioned something on your Facebook. I'm totally stopping you. Um, that an event like the Mesh helps take the sport to uh, a new level. Um, how does it help? What, what do you mean by that? I mean, we've always had like pretty small ramps in wakeboarding, and now that this big air is coming around, it's going to help us to do bigger and better tricks, and hopefully get the crowd more stoked. Since it was shut down a couple of years ago, how much do you really actually get to to practice it? Is it like an extra little bit exciting now to, to have that back because you haven't done it in or as much as you would have if, if it was on the circuit the whole time? Uh, yeah, I've never actually hit it before, so this will be the first time I've ever done it, so that's pretty nerve-wracking, but should be good. Nice, good luck with that. Thank you. Um, guys, thanks, thanks a lot. I think we're gonna just quick, do a quick Q&A if anybody got like questions that concern everybody for my three guys here. Otherwise, of course, they're available for the individual interviews afterwards. Any questions? Everybody wants to ask their own questions. That's good. Hey guys, thanks a lot. Enjoy Munich um, and the hangover. Um, and good luck <coughs> at the competition. All right?